welcome back to another video guys we are on the low rider s today i know some of you guys have been like oh you don't make any contact with the low rizzy anymore well yes we're here we're here there's still a lot of more contact to come don't worry i gotta be honest I, i've i've mainly been on the road glide for the last few months this bike has not gotten that much love so i am very sorry but we're back on it um it is 11 30 ish maybe 12 right now we're heading up to bergen county harley davidson i'm just gonna go pick up some fluids for the bike um I changed the oil last week but i gotta change the uh transmission fluids and everything else on it so that's where we're heading to right now and i wanted to talk about this title right here so since the lowrider st has been out everyone's been constantly asking me the question are you going to trade up? Are you going to trade your 2020 Lowrider S for the brand new Lowrider ST? Um, and the answer is no. And in this video, that's what we're gonna be talking about. And there's just several reasons why I'm not gonna change it. Um, with that being said, the Lowrider ST is an amazing bike. Do I wish I can have it? Of course, it's, it's great. Harley was nice enough to fly me out to California back in February, March around there to ride that bike. And I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, the 117 is just amazing. The fairing is just awesome. I love the design of that. And you guys know, since that bike came out, I was a huge fan of the new redesigned fairing on that bike um, and everything else that comes with it. So, you know, the taller mono shock, the, the 117, the fairing. Um, the only thing I'm not too crazy about it's just the gauge relocation but we'll get into that um so yeah let, let's just start talking about why i'm not going to be trading my bike for the lowrider st um it comes down to i've had this bike since 2019 i bought it literally right before 2020 hit um it, it, it was a bike that came out i absolutely instantly fell in love with it uh, it's treated me very very good and I can easily say that most of the success from my channel has come from this bike a lot of viewerships I know a lot of you guys out there came onto the platform because of this bike some of you guys have moved on to baggers and left it behind um, but uh, it's essentially it's, it's just the uh, it's been the bread and butter of the, of the channel the past few years the road glide has kind of taken over now um, so yes, there is a lot of sentimental value that's in this bike. I feel very, very connected to it. And I don't know, it's just, I've built this bike out to where exactly I want it to be. Well, not yet, cause I still want, um, I, I, I've kinda, I kinda wanna do a stage two on it. I was really happy with the performance before cause it is a very torquey bike. It, it, you know, it's, it, it, the, the setup is just, it's great right now. But right now I'm kinda, I'm wanting to do a stage two, so that that might be uh, next in the books. But when it comes to how the bike looks, I, I've got it looking how I initially wanted it to look. And people still stop me everywhere I go with this bike, and they ask me a ton of questions, and they're like, "Oh my god, like, dude, that's a clean setup," and blah blah blah. And, you know, I get I get a lot of compliments on this bike. It's a clean bike. Um, so yeah, it's just yeah, I got it to where I want it to be, and. Uh, for me to start over is like uh i don't know now i said that i will go back to talk about the gauge relocation on the lowrider st we know that it has the the setup from the street bob with the little mini digital gauge right here I, I think it's cool i think it's cool but i honestly prefer this right here i love the way the tank looks i know a lot of people do gauge relocations and they put both gauges on top of here that looks awesome i would pick that over the lowrider st look with the little mini gauge any day um but just the way that the whole tank right here is set up i just think it looks cool i know I, i've said in the past that sometimes i have you know i find myself sometimes looking down to see anything that i want to look at on here it's a little glimpse but it's, it's not a deal breaker for me but i just i love the whole just the whole look of this i, I think it just it fits the bike very good um when it comes to performance i know the lowrider st has the 117. i, I could literally do an a stage two on here and i could probably pack out a lot more power out of this with a stage two than 
you will with the one with the stock 17. The 117 is just not a big deal break for me either. It's fine. And now let's get into finances. I'm I'm still paying for this bike. I'm not rich. I didn't buy this bike out cash, and I don't make a crazy ton of money on YouTube where I could just pay for this bike now. This bike gets paid monthly because I'm just a regular person. So yeah, I'm still paying for this bike, and I, I don't kind of necessarily want to get myself into a bigger mess either um especially now because i'm trying to actually trying to add a third bike to the channel so the fact that i'm trying to add a third bike as well um yeah like i don't you know get a third bike and then get another brand new bike and bigger payments like yeah i'm kind of good with that um this bike performs great to me in my eye i think it, it you know it looks great i'm still missing a few stuff that i still want to do um but it's uh you could basically say that is 85 maybe 90 percent done um i didn't initially i, I didn't want to transform this bike into something that it that it's not or wasn't um and you know so sometimes we, we we build bikes and we literally just transform the bike into something else and i didn't want to do that with this bike i kind of wanted to keep it to its original look uh but with my taste obviously right um and that's mainly it to be honest nothing uh nothing else uh, we are at bergen i think it's gonna be it guys gotta go inside and get these fluids see if sergio's here have a little attack a little chat and that's it I'll give you guys a little walk around of the bike real quick took the leather pros off the other day just because the bags have been on the bike for a long time and I kind of miss seeing it without the bags. Clean man. Clean, 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 and clean. That's it for you guys. I'm gonna get you guys the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.